People say that Tai Dunhu ended his life on that scary morning, Friday, 14th of October. But still to this day, people say that there was foul at play, that he was murdered by an enemy or friend. Well, I think it's about time to find out the truth about Tyg's final last breaths. Why are you even here? <laughs> Nobody likes you. Um, Miss Murray, can the answer not four instead of six? Aren't you the Einstein? Would you just leave him alone? Nobody asked you. We will now have a minute of silence for a member of our school family that tragically took their own life after jumping off a bridge four years ago.
Đi vui lắm không? How are you today? Ah, uh, you know, just normal me. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's no need to worry about me. Just leave it. I don't like seeing you. No, it's fine. It's La Lens here. What do you mean? It doesn't matter anymore.
brother. You said not to take any risks, but sometimes I, I have to. Where are you going now? Nowhere. Now you're probably thinking that the small, quiet boy who's bullied every day of his life is sitting in that bathtub on that scary morning, Friday, 14th of October. But did I ever tell you that I actually was? Why are you even here? Are you not going to school today? Nah, I don't feel too good. Uh, Alright, I'll see you later. Brother, you said not to take any risks, but sometimes I, I have to. Leave me alone! Owner of watch in a 27.13 home location bound. Where are you going now? Nowhere. How are you doing today, brother? Do you know what? It's time I stop thinking about my brother and move on. I have friends now. A new group of friends created from two bullies, a murder, and somebody who may have just slipped through the cracks. <laughs> Brother, Ty Donahue, always getting the attention. Me, the outcast, always left alone. Well, I think it's time to say bye-bye to you and hello to me. All Jack Reardon needs now is a little push over the edge.
We all have distorted minds these days from all the technology that interferes in our daily lives. But imagine a place with no technology. There would be less violence, less abuse, and most of all, less bullying. It would be the perfect world. Friends for life. What a beautiful.